Tomot here on this beautiful day, the end of April 21. And I want to talk about care and caring in this life process we're in. And I saw this post today which said, How come we can feed 58 billion animals? but we cannot feed 8 billion humans. In other words, how can we feed our livestock, or sheep, or a pig, or cows, or chicken? How can we feed all them billions and not feed all 8 billion of humanity? And that makes a really grell picture to me, really, just really disgusting picture of the human priority the human priority we as human work in a consensus we are all here together in this matrix in this process in this life and everything happens on based on consensus like we're all part of it And the point is that there is so much evidence that we truly don't care. Even though we might say that we care and we might think that we care. But things like charity. Isn't that just a, a, a you know, it doesn't help with charity in the long run. It keeps, it actually just feeds the mouth of the doctors and the nurses, basically. It keeps supporting, charity keeps supporting poverty, basically, you know. It keeps supporting that status quo of somebody is very, 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 very poor and starving and dying. And I support that with my money, basically. That's basically, if you look at it, from a certain perspective, that's what charity is. You support, give money to beggars, you support that system, basically. And about caring, you know, if, if we truly did care in this world, wouldn't our priorities be otherwise? Would we do so? Would, if we truly did care, would we spend so many weekends with wasting ourselves with alcohol or Netflix or weed or whatever? You know, if we truly did care, we would start, you know. Voting for politics can seem like a dead end, basically, because what we see with politics is that they are stuck in their own, own ism, their own conservatism or socialism or whatever ism that might be, Christian or whatever, and they're stuck in that campus and they cannot move out from that. And that is paralyzing and making the whole political seen totally handicapped and making it into a big show business like they're all celebrities sort of like a show business Hollywood and that's what politics and, and such has become just about their fame and very little very 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 little is done that is actually changed from politics and the solution to this is with the individual, you and me, the every you and every me. That's where the solution is. For us individually to stand up and take full and complete responsibility to release ourselves from mind enslavement, to find ourselves grounded, rooted, anchored, in the physical body, the living flesh, that is, the divinity of self. 
because the mind have been extracting and extracting energy from the physical body into itself to keep us entertained in polarities and thinking and feelings and emotions and all these constructs and systems to keep us entertained running in loops around in the head instead of being physical grounded calm stable in the body else just like humanity has been learning from the mind with how we have been extracting oil diamonds minerals cattle uh, timber plants we extract from mother earth we take from Mother Earth to consume and to produce and to, to sell stuff. You know, we extract from Mother Earth. The same way the mind have been extracting from our muscle tissue, our physical bodies uh, have been extracting energy, living physical energy from the body into metaphysical energy entertainment loops in the head, in the mind. So the big key here is for us to understand how the mind operates, basically. Okay? And self-forgiveness is a great, profound key in this. To discover self as the physical, to discover self as self-responsibility, self-awareness, self-honesty as life. Okay? To discover self in the inner realm, the inner garden of, of, from the physical. That is where life is. And that is when, when one stand up and one more stand up and one more stand up to take a full and complete responsibility for themselves, we are making ripples, we are then making change. Because otherwise, charity and politics and all that stuff seem like, seem like dead ends, as it is today. Today it seems like they are very much just about, you know, ism and and fame and money and corruption basically you know so what we need is to to create a new money system because all of us as human beings are of the equal worth we all need to make make have an income and we all need that equally so we need an equal money system and that starts when we, want, when we are all stand up, one plus one plus one, stand up for breath, stand up for life, stand up for oneness and equality, okay, for self as life. When we all stand up and, make a, make a, and, and take responsibility for ourselves, we find that self-honesty, we find the self-awareness and self-responsibility. Because what we have been fed for since the beginning of time has been a long, long lie. Okay? All of our systems, the agriculture, the school education system, the finance system, the democracy systems, all of our human created systems have been very much based on mind systems. And the mind is imaginary, it doesn't exist really. But it is there, basically. So even though the mind doesn't exist, you can't you can't like touch it or smell it or you know, but it is there and it and has been controlling us since the beginning of time, basically. The mind box has been controlling us since the beginning of time, basically. Uh, with a with a whole with a complete lock in. Okay? It has been a very hard very strict lockdown from mind systems basically and we have been very much blinded brainwashed deluded and marginalized and abused as from ourselves because of our limiting mind systems and It is our job now to, to understand these systems, to understand ourselves as these, as these individuals, that we are of equal worth and that we all have these systems. 
and that we must stand up as the whole self, the whole self. Okay? And make the world a better place, basically, by doing so, step by step, breath by breath. So that we can merge the mind and the being and the physical into a one complete being, one complete human being that is, you know, a, a good human being because you have then, then forgiven and transcended all those fears, all those, all those emotional points, all that ego, all those mind layers and um, basically, basically to change oneself, to, to empower oneself, to realize oneself, to birth life from the physical. To birth life from the physical, from the flesh. That is something to chew on, basically. So, for me to become physical, for me to become life, because I have been living in the lie, in the, in the, in the imaginary mind. The mind is imaginary, but it has been controlling us completely for eons of time. So when we re when we re when we break break free through a process from our mind enslavement into physical sanity, into st stability, into physical anchored stable self, we then liberate ourselves. We become anew. We become reborn, basically. And that is some of the keys to discover in this life. Because, like I say, our democracy system, finance, agriculture, healthcare, education, all those systems are flawed. But they're full of lies because they are based on the imaginary mind. They are based on the imaginary mind, which is an illusion, which is, doesn't really exist. So it's a big, big deception, basically. And all the systems, all the commotion, everything you see out there, it's basically a big lie because it's ba all the systems that they represent at the fundament are based on illusion, imaginary, imaginary mind. So what we need to establish are systems, and let's start with the money system because the money system is the very cornerstone here. The money system is the important point for us to change. When we change that, the rest will follow basically, and we create a whole new world, a reality that is meant to serve life and not greed. So these are interesting times. And uh, I would like to hear what you have to say about this, if anything. It would be interesting to hear how we can stand up for ourselves as individuals and become our own saviors. Because, like I said, the, the systems that we are living under, to still today in this world, in April 21, is just abusive. And they are abusive because they are, imagined, or they are, they are imaginary. They don't really exist. Because they are based on mind and not on, not on physical, tangible reality. So breathe, walk with, okay, forgive, find grounding in here, into yourself, into your own blood, your heart, your liver, your, your inner field. We can do this. And then we can change the whole, the, all the systems. Let's start with the money system by creating an equal money system where all life are treated equally because we are of equal worth. Let's make that into a reality, not just some nice words on a paper. Thank you very much for listening.